Hey everybody, it's your favorite friend and theme, Kenneth Ramon, back here again in the Cruiser Bruiser. I'm back with you this time with another awesome tacular song reaction, song review for you guys. Super stoked because I just heard that uh, Demi Lovato, I should have heard a, a few months back that they were kind of dabbling in that like pop punk resurgence revival that's been going on for the past couple years. You know, you've had rappers and you know pop artists such as you know MGK, even Post Malone kind of dabbling with the genre and now now, like I even hear like new artists um, going kind of going out there and like even making mainstream radio with like pop punk tunes and I've been like super stoked about this resurgence but anyways you guys so uh, Demi Lovato they had like announced um, the title of this album and the album artwork now you guys I'm gonna give you a little bit of a warning you know I've made videos that are more kid friendly uh, this is not one of those videos just because uh, the name of this album and uh, the lyrics, I, I've seen like the first two lines of the lyrics of the song that I'm going to be reacting to. And uh, I'm just letting you guys know, I'm, there's going to be some profanity coming from me because I have to review uh, what's on the paper and what the album itself is called. So um, if you guys, if that's too much for you guys, you guys could click off. I do appreciate the support. But anyways, you guys, um, so let's get to um, Demi Lovato's new track. It's going to be off the upcoming album called Whole holy fuck okay and uh so uh there's a lot to be said about the album artwork and the name of this album but i'm still i'm still very excited because you know we got some fresh music um not only from demi lovato but of like like i was saying of this genre that's like kind of coming back and um it's really really cool you know and i heard uh from a good friend of mine uh she had said that uh, this is like um, kind of like a comeback of uh, Demi Lovato's old music, like the old rock stuff. And I had not even known that they made uh, rock music. Like I, I was uh, familiar with um, what's that one song, Skyscraper. That was a big hit back when I was in high school. And of course, Cool for the Summer. Those are songs that I dig, you know. But I wouldn't really consider them rock. So like when um, when she had told me that, I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm not really familiar with their rock stuff. And then I. She had sent me a song, and then, like, the song was called Get Back. So, um, I heard it's kind of like that, but darker. So, really cool. Really cool. I have no idea what to expect. I have not heard this song before. I'm going straight forward in it, to, in it with you guys. So, let me just pull up the song real quick and get this bad boy going. Alrighty, guys, I'm pulling it up right now. We're going to hit play right meow. Yeah. See, I, I told you, it's, it's going right into it. She's going through a lot, man. This song's really deep, guys. I dig it, though. Doesn't make it easier, man. I love the woohoos. I love that. All right. Wow. That was that was quick. Right to the point. Right there. <laughs> All right, guys. For the most part, I I pretty much dig it. Um, and just take a minute and share my thoughts with you guys. Alrighty guys, well let's go straight to it. Let's talk about this song and um, so you guys probably could tell if you've seen my reaction videos before It's a little bit more quiet on this one because I was really paying close attention, you know to the lyrics and um, Like those times where like I was really vibing with the music too But at the same time listening to the lyrics at the same time kind of like it was like an emotional roller coaster for me, you know, because this is this is a really deep song. Like if you really get into the lyrics, and let me go through some of these lyrics right here. The Reaper knocks on my door, cause I'm addicted to more. I don't need you to keep score when I'm the one who's at war. That's that's hardcore stuff right there, man. That's like someone who's like really battling their addictions right there and. You know, and no matter what, like, there's people that tell them, you know, you need to 
break out of it, you know, it's hard for them because, you know, they know they're, they're the ones that has to do it. They have to do it for themselves, you know, and, uh, and it's hard to do it. Once you're, you're in, you're, you're kind of stuck there and it's like, it's really deep. This is a really deep song, but definitely the most deepest song I've ever reacted to reviewed on this channel. So that's why I'm a little, I was a little bit more quiet this time listening to the song so apologize for that but you know I, I really wanted to pay attention to what they were singing about and then now I'm going back to the lyrics you know because I, I remember hearing knocking on the door I wanted to get some more uh, perspective on that and um, let's go and this is yeah this is the chorus right here I'm alive by the skin of my teeth I survived but it's getting harder to breathe Asking why doesn't make it easier. And that's what I kept hearing. I kept hearing doesn't make it easier, doesn't make it easier. And no, it doesn't, man. You know, once you're stuck there, you're trapped, you know. And it doesn't matter what people are saying, you know. And Demi's case, probably uh, their fans, you know. Like their their fans are trying to say, hey, you know, you know we, we, we support you through this. But, you know, if that person doesn't, you know, see it in themselves to escape it, it gets hard. Like, it's like... They say, when I'm the one who's at war, you know, they know that they're fighting this, um, this internal battle, you know, but, you know, they have to find it in themselves to, to get out. And that's the hard part. Anyways, guys, going back, sorry, I'm kind of rambling. Um, yeah, it doesn't make it easier. Go easier on me. God damn it. I just want to be free, but I can't cause it's a fucking disease. I'm alive by the skin of my teeth. Jeez, man, this is this is some really heavy stuff, man. And you know, props to them. I I hope um I hope they're doing better because I know that they went through like some serious like relapse recently, and like they were like hospitalized. I remember hearing about it in the news, and I had a friend who was like a big Demi Lovato fan. I remember they were working at Taco Bell. I was just getting my Taco Bell, and I'm like, man, I heard about Demi. I'm so sorry because they were like huge Demi Lovato fans and I was like I'm really sorry to hear I, I hope they pull through you know but um yeah and it, it looks like I don't know when this song was written but it says here Demi the beginning of the song opens goes right to it and I saw these couple lines and I printed out these lyrics just so I could review it for you guys and I was like wow it really goes right into it Demi leaves rehab again when is this shit gonna end right there I, that's all i read and i'm like oh god okay this is it's it's gonna be a deep it's gonna be a deep song to review but um okay as far as the the music goes the music's excellent um it reminds me of another song i don't know what song that comes to mind that goes do 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 somebody save me do 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 if you guys let me know but i have another song stuck in my head that has like a similar melody but um yeah it's it's pretty pretty rockish like if you you love pop punk pop rock this is more pop rock but it's it's a little heavier a little darker if you will in the music and the lyrics the whole t tone of this song um I I really dug it man I really dug the music um I'm even more fascinated by the lyrics that's why I'm taking my time just to dissect this whole thing um let me see what else it says here. Oh yeah, here's like the um, the kind of bridge where it has like the the drum breakdown. Here it says, "I'm just trying to keep my head above water. I'm your son and I'm your daughter. I'm your mother and I'm your father. I'm just a product of the problem." So what's giving them so so many um, issues that keeps leading them back into rehab again? You know and like. It's really up to them, but they're like, they're fighting. Like, it's like a, a really hard fight. Like, you know, like, um, with like mental health struggles and, you know, things that get like in your head, you know, and they can't escape like that, that really vivid, um, image that's stuck in their head, you know, and the Reaper knocks on the, my door, it says, you know, and it's a, it's a fucking disease. Like, and I, I feel like, you know, they, they use like profanity in here to kind of like make their point. Like, you know, like people aren't getting it. People aren't getting it. This is real. This is fucking real, dude. It's a fucking disease. And they, they're trying really hard to escape it. No matter what people say, it's hard because it keeps consuming every inch of them. And they're just trying to get out, but they can't. And, um, 
I applaud Demi uh, for writing this song. I, I'm assuming, yeah. Yeah, this is in the first person. Demi leaves rehab again. So this is a song that she wrote, okay? I applaud her for writing a song, writing all... I'm sorry, I said her. Um, I've been a fan for a little while now. Um, I applaud them. I applaud them for writing this song and getting their ideas out there, getting what's on their mind out there in a safer way, you know, I mean, this is safer than, you know, self-destructing, you know, and going back to, you know, I guess drugs, you know, going back to whatever's consuming them, um, just find a, a pen and paper and write, you know, I tell my friends this, man, like, writing really does help, like, it's really therapeutic, you know, anything that's in your mind, you don't have to show anybody, just feel you know, right, right. Whatever you're feeling, man. Put it out on paper, and then you know if you look back on it and say, "Oh God, that was awful." At least you got it out, you know. And you don't have to share that with anybody. You could crumple it up, throw it away, but at least you got your feelings out, you know. And you're not uh, using suppression, you know. Usually, using other things to distract what what you're feeling inside you know just let it out let it out on paper talk to somebody you know whatever um your way of expressing yourself is go for it you know and and demi does that with this song and and this is the this is her first single off this album holy fuck and holy fuck i'm saying it <laughs> like holy fuck this is the first single like what a bitchin first single really heavy first single to start with my friend um yeah <laughs> i'm at a loss of words man uh hopefully i did okay and you know, i know i kind of ramble I, I stumble on my words a lot but i am in awe of this song this is a pretty amazing song now you guys give me a second here to process it a little bit more and i'm gonna give this song a rating Hey guys, before I get to my final rating on Demi Lovato's new single, Skin of My Teeth, I want to thank you all so much for watching my video. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see so far, please hit that subscribe button. And if you dig this video, please hit that like button. I really do appreciate all the support as always. Thank you guys so very much. So guys, as expected, um, the song, musically, it's a banger, okay, uh, the guitar, the drums, everything in this song kicks ass, all right, and it's just under three minutes, so it, it goes for that whole punk vibe, and I feel like it really succeeds at that, and, um, guys, but the lyrics, man, the lyrics are really, really something, really something, they're, 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 they're incredible, they're incredible, man. Like, emphasis on the lyrics, okay? Um, I'm gonna give this song a solid, um, this is just a song, so I'm gonna give it out of five. I'm gonna rank it out of five. A solid five out of five, crisscross, awesome, awesome sauce. Cause I really dig this song, and like, I find myself really wanting to dissect the lyrics, and really get into, um, the message that Demi's trying to put out there, like, I, I feel like songs like that, like, really, really have an impact on me, and, you know, and I'm all talking slower, you know, like, props to them for putting this song out, like, period, okay, and then another props to them for putting this song out as, like, the first single off this new album, because I, that takes a lot. I'm just saying, that takes a lot, and um, this song is very powerful, and I highly recommend you guys check it out. Hey guys, real quick, before I forget, I wanted to um, recommend a song from a local band here in town. Um, kind of has a similar vibe to the song I just reviewed, and kind of like goes into depth about, you know, recovering from um, emotional struggles and things like addiction. They write songs about this, and I highly recommend you guys check out their new single that they just put out yesterday. Uh, called Face the Dark. It was actually the first song that I've ever sang on stage. They invited me up as a special guest, and that was so much fun. First song I ever sang on stage. But um, but yeah, guys, check that song out, especially if you love uh, like pop, uh, pop rock, pop punk, emo. I, I I call this an emo song. Uh, I think they get mad that I call it emo, but it's emo. It's emo as fuck. And I highly recommend you guys check it out. It's called Face the Dark by Heartbeat Breakdown, and I'll link it in the description down below. Well, you guys, those are my thoughts on Demi Lovato's new track, uh, Skin of My Teeth. What did you guys think of this song? Be honest, you know. 
be, be, be nice, but let me know down in the comment section down below, and are you super stoked for this new album from Demi Lovato? Uh, I know it's controversial. I know I've seen the the artwork. I, I know the, the name of the album. I'm like, oh boy, but, you know, if it's going to be filled with songs like these, I just... More power to them, you know, and like I said, you know, sometimes you just need to get all that's going on in your mind out there, and what a better way of doing it through art and creativity and music, so I think that's super fascinating, and I, I went and bought my tickets, I bought my tickets for their tour, they just uh, announced they're going on tour, and I saw they were nearby, you know, not too far from where I am, so I'm like, okay, you know, I'm gonna go go check this concert out. So let me know if you guys are buying tickets to this tour. And um, yeah, man, I'm like super stoked. I'm super stoked that this music is back. You know? And if you guys have any other suggestions of uh, newcomers that are making similar songs, uh, similar music to this, I I've checked out a few. I've checked out uh, Tate McRae and um, uh, Sasha Alex. Um, Sasha Alex Sloan, she's really good, okay, and I've been meaning to review those albums, uh, but, you know, with time and things like that, I'm starting to get to do a new job, which I'm, like, super, super stoked about, but at the same time, i got a lot on my mind, so hopefully pretty soon I'll get to review their stuff, too, but if you know any other artists like that, I'm totally digging the style of music, let me know. As always, you guys, I just want to thank you all so much for watching my video. Kenneth Ramon! Signing off.